far as preset. They're literally across the rows from each other. Same soil type, it's just different system. So there's silky clay loam. I have three samples. And one of my samples has been conventional till. So this fall, we had a ripper out there, and then there was a second tillage pass. I missed that pass, so I'm not sure what it was, but they went back out and leveled up. And so for sure it had two tillage passes this fall. The other site was strip tilled for the first time in 2017, planted to corn in 18, and then nothing was done to that soil this fall. And then the third sample I have is a sod sample from that area, just so you can really see like under perfect mother nature conditions what that soil would do. And so both the fields that we're gonna look at that had tillage on them were corn this year. So one again, tillage, two pass this fall, the other one, first year of strip till. So I'm gonna put them in here and um, we're gonna watch. Can you see all three clips? Okay, perfect. So, anybody wanna throw out a guess on what is our conventional till? When I say conventional till, fall tillage, two passes. Yes, absolutely. And actually, the one closest to me on my left is our first year strip till. So we've got our control over here. Again, all the same soil types, same precip because they're right across the road. And so you can see on the actual sod sample, big hunks are falling off because we've got good soil structure. We've got good aggregate stability like we talked about. So Mother Nature knows how to do it right. We've got large pore space because we've got good aggregation. And basically what the aggregation that we keep talking about is the segments of silt, sand, and clay and how they group together. Because they're different sizes, they don't evenly lock together and they have irregular shape like that. And so when it slakes off in big hunks, it's still good stable soil. That's why it's breaking off in segments like that. And our no-till, strip-till actually, because I believe there'll be no-till beans this year into that site, that's why they didn't strip it last fall, is already after one year acting that way. So, we just wanted you to see that really it can be a quickish. When I say quickish, it's not an instant transition, but it's something to think about. If you didn't get tillage done on a field, maybe try and go tilling some soybeans into it this year or see if there's a strip tiller in the area that could maybe come over or sulfur, something like that. But there's, it's really something to think about when you can make that quick of a change after just one season. Okay, any questions about that? Okay. I am curious though how much of this guy we got left. Well, we do have a little bit left in there. But really, I just, I mean, it's huge. I don't know how much you can really see, but this one where my finger is, is all soil that's left the field or gone down the drain tile. And it, there's still pieces falling off here, but again, it's large, stable chunks. Okay. So what we're going to do now 